What up, YouTube? Welcome to another punk video. <clears throat> We're doing another Master Lost Sector. This time it's Vale's Labyrinth here on the Cosmodrome. And uh, I'm doing a little bit different in this one. I'm going to do two runs because I'm going to do it on Warlock because I know everyone's looking for Secant Filaments and it's Boots Day. But I'm going to show you a build. If you have Osmiomancy gloves, I'm going to show you a stasis build. And then if you uh, don't have Osmiomancies, I'm going to show you a solar build. Probably with uh, uh, the so solar gauntlets for double grenades. And I'm going to show you how it's going to work where you can constantly be getting your grenades up. Uh, giggity. Um, all right. Uh, just to review, this first build for Shadebinder is going to be Osmiomancy Gloves with Elemental Shards. The shards are only going to be working, basically, Stasis Shards st count as Stasis Wells. You need to pair this with Glacial Harvest so that you're actually making Stasis Shards when you freeze targets. I'm using Cold Snap because you get the double cold snap with Osmiomancy gloves. <clears throat> I'm using Whisper Durance, Rending, Shards, and Torment. Shard, Whisper of Shards just to make more stasis shards. We're going to have grenades up constantly. Those shards will elemental charge, will make me charge with light. Solar, I'm running on my chest piece for firepower, meaning when I'm charged with light, I throw a grenade. It'll consume those stacks of charged with light to get me another grenade back faster. Uh, so pretty much infinite grenades. I will also be running Bountiful Wells and Reaping Wellmaker. Every time I use my class ability and get a kill, I'll get more wells. <clears throat> they'll be void wells, but they'll still boost all my abilities up uh, a little bit every time I pick up those wells. Um, we are going to be dealing with anti-barrier scouts, unstoppable pulse. Uh, Percy's D is what I'm using because it's a 150 RPM, so it'll it'll pop barriers pretty quickly in like a four, four or five tap, especially... Uh, and it'll it'll maybe make some some orbs too. Orbs won't be doing as much uh doing as much as the wells, but I am running harmonic siphon and solar siphon so that Percy's D and Battler can make orbs in case I need to heal myself with recuperation. It is arc burn, so I'm using Queen Breaker. Uh if you haven't seen, I'm really enjoying Queen Breaker and it's an exotic that many many people have if you played uh Forsaken campaign. Anyways, this is that first build. I'll review the second build before um, we get into that gameplay, but I'll see you guys in this run. All right, YouTube. Master Lost Sector, Veil's Labyrinth. We definitely did not get lost and could not find the second, the second symbol of the second area. No way that didn't happen. The first symbol is always here. The second, and that's what opens that. I like to hug the left. Of which I thought one of the symbols was right there.
but usually I like to go in this room, the blue room, kill these guys. Because a barrier comes out at a certain point. There it is. In this room is the second symbol. Then I come out of this room and go back to the left hand side. And there we go. Now this part is where a champion's gonna push you. I'm just gonna chain so much stasis. Cause it's arc burn, so you don't want this guy to get up close. Even if you have to deal with the Cursed Thrall first. It's worth it. Because this guy will kill you. Especially if you're trying to solo flawless it. And especially if you uh, don't have your gun reloaded. Okay, this part's where it gets interesting because some thralls are going to push up over there. You either kill this barrier quickly or you're going to have thralls push you. Which it might already went bad for me. You can like handle these guys alternated like I'm doing currently, but you don't have to. I recommend handling the unstoppable first. Oh God. Or just burn all your ammo.
See, I'm using this box for cover. It's kind of what you would want to do. If you're trying to solo flawless it and you're not going to be doing that, get rid of the unstoppable first. The thralls, then the unstoppable, then handle the barrier. The barrier doesn't push the stairs, but the ogre can be kind of a problem. This is the only spot you need arc is these two knights. He's stuck on his friend. That's why I choose arc for heavy here. You're going to deal with a few solar knights. another reason why I like Queensbreaker. It really makes the streakers not, not, not a problem ever at all. These unstoppables like to push around there, then through this side. But just give them plenty of space. If you want extra heavy, you could run loose and finisher. But honestly, it's not really needed. I could kill these guys much faster than I am, but I want to show you guys like if you screw up, just fall back to like as far back as you can. There is no problem with advancing in the other direction. Exactly. Brave Sir Robin, bravely run away. You do it a lot? Yeah. Yeah, and you can make your build just like this, where you pretty much have infinite stasis nades. As long as you're killing the target that's frozen. You too can just Make everything non-important. I wanted to do that against them to get them dead. Again, if you fall back to this corner, most of the ads don't fully push around.
Bodied. And then the boss is dead. I need to make that a sound clip. Maybe. <clears throat> but with this build, you can like trivialize most of the encounter. Just take your time going through it. And uh, so the next one, uh, I'm going to go through a different build. Say you don't have stasis, say you don't have osmiomancy gloves, and I'm going to show you how that build would work. All right, guys, and uh, this is going to be the second build. So on this build, we're using the same weapons, Percy's D, Battler, Queen Breaker, but we're going to use Bottom Tree Dawn. And it's going to cause targets when you strike them with a melee to explode. So that can kill quite a few thrall in one go. We're going to use solar nades because we are going to pair it with sun bracers. So I instead of rock, rocking the osmiomancy gloves with elemental shards to get more grenade energy back, we're going to do sun bracers. So um, I can melee one target and then throw a bunch of nades and those nades will make shards from their kills, not shards, uh, elemental wells. And those wells will regenerate my grenade energy. I'm going to use elemental charge. And when I throw my first nade, if I'm charged from the wells charged with light, I'll get grenade back also for from firepower. We're going to run bountiful wells and reaping well maker. We're going to see how this build does. I'll see you in this second master run with this build. All right. Veil's Labyrinth on master. This time, if you don't have stasis, what do you do? I'm showing a different type of build. With solar explosions. symbol right there and we're out get all over wells and we almost have a nade back we can get that first symbol right there. Ooh, that got spicy. If you can pair this with a like I'm using the battler that has demolitionist, it's also regenerating my grenade on kills as well. Oh, did I not shoot the symbol? Hopefully it did. Ah, it's there this time.
You could also probably get away with Top Tree Dawn and just float. But sometimes it doesn't work all out that well. Because you're, I mean, you're stuck in this cave. Solar explosions. Are you guys thinking it's going to be solar 3.0 come next season? It's supposed to be solar or arc next season. Everyone's leaning towards solar, so I'm kind of interested. What do you guys think it'll be? By the way, these guys like to push you and scare you, but they don't actually blow up on you. At least not unless you just stand there. Chad, you're hoping for solar? So in the previous run, I did this weird juggle of the two. I'm going to show you. I think you maybe I didn't go up high enough on the stairs. We'll let those guys come across. So you can just go down here. And handle the unstoppable. Another reason why I like Queen Breaker. For this, at least. Leave it in the comments, too, of the video chat. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Would you like to see some solar builds right now? Like co possible prospects of different types of well solar builds. Or what do you think uh, they might change with uh, solar 3.0? Could have just used heavy, but I didn't feel like it. So the same thing applies here. I think stasis is the better build, but on master, you can easily Just kite enemies into your grenades and then they all blow up. Okay, there's the solar wizard.
It's arc burn, so it's the wizards you gotta be careful of. Wizards on the boss. Oh, it's ogre time. They'll go right and then they'll cut through that. I'm gonna try and get them together, see if I can pop super and kill them like that. I was not doing enough damage. So the second one kind of backed off. The acolytes all threw their nades at me. See, and I almost have my next nade up just from the synergy of adrenaline junkie, demolitionist on my pulse rifle, and then all my well builds. One thrall, I'm not going to worry about throwing an eight on. Oh, yeah, that wizard goes up to that top corner sometimes. That hurts. I'm glad the boss moved to here, though. Because if that's the case, you can just kill him and then move on to the wizard. And dead. Promethean Spur. And someone, uh, by the way, had wrote in one of the comments of my videos of this stuff I'm doing. They said they could just run legends. I've run about 15, 20 legends, never getting an exotic to drop on master. I know it's like in my videos, it might just be like, oh, he didn't get a drop there. He didn't get a drop there. But I'm only running it once or twice. And usually after once twice usually within three runs i have an exotic drop but i have every exotic so it's not going to be the ones that i'm looking for or that you might be looking for running these but uh that's the second build hopefully you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the outro all right youtube as a reminder i stream every day on twitch i am currently live streaming right now recording and editing this video um, I hope to see you guys in the Twitch chat. There will be a link in the description. If this content was helpful to you, either with the builds or the lost sector, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. 
and uh, hit the bell to turn on notifications so you get more of my videos. Uh, and I hope to see you guys in the Twitch chat. Thanks for chilling. Hope you have a good weekend. Peace.